Now, let's move to the next topic before we get into our picks. But prime time, Deion yes. Sanders. Yes. Coach at Jackson State, has done very well at Jackson State, is now moving to Division One and Colorado. What are our thoughts? What are your thoughts? Any issues with him leaving a, an HBCU to go to a Division One program? Uh, for all the talk and all the, you know, I know you t- you shouted him out like two or three weeks ago on Beyond the Box. Yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. He up and leaves you. So, <laughs> what's up, man? Yeah, I hit you on the uh, the Jackson State bandwagon, but no, a hey, um, initially I did. Initially, I was a little upset just because I loved the momentum that he was building with that school. How much national attention they were getting, you know, being able to recruit a number one player like Travis Hunter, putting his son on the map, Shador Sanders, looking like a phenomenal football player who can succeed anywhere. And initially, I was a little upset about it, but knowing Dion, knowing the impact he's left on Jackson State, did three years there, two conference titles, went undefeated last season. And again, is putting a bigger microscope on not just Jackson State, but HBCUs in general, which is an area that's always needed extra and more attention considering where they are. So um, I, I was initially upset, but knowing the impact that he could still make because Prime is a different level of an icon. He is not just outside of athlete, but his personality, his charisma, and his ability to basically succeed in whatever he does yeah we don't know what he think any failures that we see from prime time and he to me is something that colorado's gonna need we know there's been a struggling program and losing seasons 15 out of the last 17 years yeah like you know they've they've they need something new they need a shot you know in the arm so i think i think it's a good challenge for him and i think like he said on his uh presser he, i'm People think I'm just avoiding my people just because I'm going somewhere else. Like, I'm always going to be black. Like, that's never going to change about me. And we all can't sit here and say that we wouldn't take a different opportunity. And on top of that, there's always been the issue of black coaches not getting opportunities in these kind of situations. So we can't be upset when D.I. does good somewhere and then gets a promotion and a better opportunity and then be upset about that. So... My initial gut reaction was like, ah, God, I wish it would have stayed a little bit longer. But sure. stepping back now, realizing what he's done, I can't be mad at it at all. Shout out, Coach Prime. How do you feel about him saying, I'm bringing my luggage with me, and it's Louie, referencing players that are coming with him from Jackson State to <sighs> Colorado? Because, like, I, I can imagine that may not go over very well with the players that are already there, but at the same time, he kind of comes in and, you know, I've watched the pressers and I've seen the clips online and all that. And he's, this is how things are going to be. And you either get on board or you get out of the way. Um, I, to I me think about that. Yeah, I, I get it. I can see how it could maybe rub somebody wrong in the locker room. Like, you know, I, I've been here, you know, it's supposed to be the spirit of competition, but to me, prime seems like a straight shooter. So yep. his expectation is coming in with his son saying, okay, this is going to be the quarterback. We don't know if Travis Hunter is going to be a part of the acquisition. Like, haven't heard anything from him yet, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out. That's but inter- that's going to be very interesting. That's to going see to be what happens v- there. Absolutely. But for what I wasn't surprised that he came out like that. That's prime. And if someone's not performing, like let's say his son is, you know, not playing, I don't think he'd have a problem making a change. I think prime. I think commands enough respect and understanding in the locker room that he can make those kind of calls. But I think he's enough of a straight shooter and a genius enough football mind to be aware if things are not going as he expected. Okay, this Louis V luggage ain't working out like I thought. Let's get somebody (laughs) else in there, put a different bag in there. That's okay. I I have enjoyed listening to his press conferences. I almost want to see him be very 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 successful like I'm, I'm i'm when i'm not rooting for michigan next year i'll probably be rooting for colorado just because i like prime like i listen for christmas when i was like nine years old i asked santa maybe it was younger than nine because nine seems old to still believe in santa <laughs> but i asked for a Deion sanders dallas cowboys jersey now you know i dislike the cowboys and i would never do that now right at that point but I've liked Deion Sanders for a long time, and I'm I'm glad to see him succeeding. 
and I'm excited to see him succeed even more in Boulder, Colorado. So good opportunity for him. Good luck, Coach Prime. We, yes. You got the supporter beyond the box, even though you have no idea who we are. We got your back, man. We got you. We got you. We back. here. Eric. All the way from that shorty tray. 